And I wanted to show the project, my, my first major project in my home machine shop. This is a uh, tool post, quick change type. And I, I made this because <clears throat> my lathe here just came with this uh, simple uh, tool post and it's frustrating because you can't set the height of the cutter and you really can't do much. Besides. So I wanted a, a good tool post, a quick change type that I can set the height, use different cutters. This, the size of this, a lot of the cutters that I have didn't fit. It's kind of frustrating. So this is the end product and I'll show how I made it and uh, how it went together. So there it is. It's all set up and as you can see it locks very well. The cam feature works well. I can put it high above center, below wherever I need it. So I'll take it off and take it over the bench and I'll show how I made it. All right, first thing I'll do is take out these set screws that I put in here. I put these set screws in here to hold this upper bushing in place. As you can see here in a second that this, this, is, a, this is a split bushing that I made so that I could have a good size uh, handle area up here. Let me unlock it here. So, uh, so I loosen the set screws and I can pull it apart. Um, as you can see, this is a simple cam. And here are the split bushings that I have keeping my, my camshaft in alignment. <coughs> Inside here, this is just bored out. A hole bored out to accommodate the camshaft and, and big enough to uh, take the entire lobe. It just slides in there like that. So I wanted to show the top because this is kind of my own design here. I wanted a, I wanted a way to securely lock the tool post onto the body. Um, so what I decided to do is use a piece of file. This is actually a, a flat file and uh, I can take, and as you can see I ground one side of it down smooth and the other side still has the serrations on it. <clears throat> so it can dig right into this tool post and hold it in place. Now another thing that I that I did was uh, I took a couple of these are magnets actually from a, a hard drive. I took it apart. They're pretty powerful magnets. So I cut little slots for these magnets to just slip right in here, and they were they uh, allow the uh, the the file to retract back in when you loosen it. So if you if you see it in action here, you can see that the cam pushes pushes the file out and when you turn the ma magnets bring it right back in so that it, it never sticks and binds and keeps the uh, the tool post from coming off easily so I mean that's about it uh, to reassemble it you just put your split bushings on on the shaft put it in. I have a little flat on here. Actually I have some like three flats on here. But I got a little flat so I, I line that up. Then I can lock down my split bushing. And she's back together. And wow. So that's my design. Looks like it works quite well.